What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Versbrill, and for today's video, we're gonna talk about a Milky Way panorama selfie using a light source. Now as we see here, this is an image of myself holding that light source, and if I just took this one photo and then the rest of the Milky Way panorama, the light source fall off would stop abruptly right on the sides of this image. So to avoid that, I ended up attaching my light source to a tripod and then doing my Milky Way shots, which we have 12 right here. And they were taken with the Nikon 20 millimeter 1.8 S lens at ISO 6400, F2.2, and a shutter speed of eight seconds. And then once I finished these series of images, I put my camera on timer mode, and then I ran right where my tripod was, grabbed the light, and took an additional photo. And this one I did at six seconds just because the one at eight seconds, my arm was a little blurry. This was not a flash of light, this was constant light. So it makes it a little bit trickier to get a nice sharp image of your arm trying to stand still for that length of time. So I ended up reducing the shutter speed to six seconds to help me out a little bit. And then I just raised the exposure just to make sure it matched the other exposures as best as possible. So once you have your images imported into Lightroom, you're gonna select them all and then go to photo and you could do edit in and merge the images as a panorama in Photoshop or you could go to photo merge panorama which is what I did for this set of images. Now sometimes Lightroom doesn't stitch well with Milky Way panoramas when they get a little more complex but for a single row of images like we have here it usually does a fine job. Now I typically keep it on spherical and then I'll play around with the boundary warp and uh, let's bring this out a little bit. I'll leave that on 100. And then if there was still a white area, you could mess around with the auto crop or the auto settings. I don't like using the auto settings though because it applies its own settings. I'd rather do my personal settings that I feel look the best. And then you're gonna hit merge when you're all set and done. So I'm just gonna hit cancel since I already did this step, which is what we have right here. And then I'm going to grab these two images and go to Photo, Edit In, Open as Layers in Photoshop. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop. I have my two images and right off the bat I'm going to make a copy of them. So just drag it here. And I want to make sure that my selfie layer is in the middle, sandwiched in between two of the Milky Way Panorama layers. So I have that right here. And I want to drag this over to try and line it up as best as possible by using the horizon as a guide. So what I'm going to do is lower my opacity. And we're going to shrink this down a little bit. So go to edit, free transform. zoom in. This might take a few minutes depending how complex uh, your Milky Way panorama is. So the left side looks pretty lined up well. I just gotta bring this out a little bit. Now it's okay if it's a hair off. I'm more concerned about the horizon and making everything kind of just be as even as possible. And the one thing I do want to avoid is the warp tool. Um, I don't want to make it too distorted since there is a person in this image myself. Uh, if you use the warp tool, you could come out, you know, looking a little janky. So definitely just try and adjust um, the size of it and nothing else if you can. Be I, it's not going to line up perfect because when you do a Milky Way panorama, sometimes the software is going to, you know, align things the way it does, which might involve some uh, distortion. So we're just gonna avoid distorting this image as much as possible. We're just basically gonna shrink it down to make it fit proportionate to the Milky Way panorama. So that looks pretty good right there. I'm just gonna hit enter. And I wanna turn on the top layer again, so I disappear. I also wanna make sure my opacity for that middle layer, let me just go back really quick, is at 100%. Now we can turn that layer back on for the top. 
and create a layer mask on that Milky Way panorama layer. Make sure I have my brush selected and it's on black. And I want a pretty big brush. I'm going to put it at 100% opacity. And we'll do 1400 pixels. Let me just show you something really quick. Uh, if I didn't have uh, a layer underneath this, let's turn this off. And I accidentally brushed out too far. You're going to get this showing through to the background layer, which is nothing. So that's why I have a copy just to kind of help mitigate that issue. And also if you go too far, you can see there's a hard line anyway because of just the, the vignetting when you are doing a panorama that tends to happen with the lenses and discoloration and stuff like that. So that's why I have this layer sandwiched in between two Milky Way panorama images. So I'm just gonna undo that. Alrighty, and switch back to black. I'm gonna go right over the light source, right where I should be, and just hit it two times. Now I'm gonna lower my opacity to around 5%, and then just kinda move this around just to spread the light out a little bit more, and kinda blend the two images together as best as possible. If you go too far, you can switch back to white, make the brush a little bit smaller, and just kind of fix some areas. I don't have to go as high into the sky as I was before, so I can bring some of that back a little bit. And we can zoom in and check it. And then what we'll also do is fix around these mountains since it wasn't perfectly aligned right here. So I'm gonna increase my opacity around uh, 50%. Just clean that up. The left side came out pretty good, so I don't think I have to mess with that too much. You know, just lower the opacity and just get, hit that up. All right, so that blended pretty nicely. So here we could just zoom in and I would just clean this up a little bit further. You could see I have the shadow from my tripod behind me. Um, let's go to spot healing. And I'm just going to do this really quick just to give you a general idea of what I would do, um, you know, fixing this image up. As it got closer to my legs, I would switch over to the healing brush and go with a smaller brush and uh, select replace instead of normal. And then I would just select areas that are close to it and clean this up. Let's go back to healing brush. I'll just do this really fast. Obviously take your time, make it, you know, look as best as possible but for the sake of this video I'm just kind of winging this really quickly all right I'm gonna leave it like that that's good enough now you can save this out as a PS file if you plan on doing any more editing I'm just gonna flatten it for this video And you could either crop it here or you could bring it back into Lightroom and crop it there. So I'll just bring this up right here. You may have some weird, uh, like a plane or something like that. Same thing, just clone that out. So there you go, it was really quick and easy. Um, that's the benefit of attaching a light to a tripod and then taking your panorama and then just capturing a single image of yourself and just blending the two together. Um, makes it life nice and simple and you have fallout that goes pretty far out you can see that spread it comes all the way out to about here um, and right around here on this side which I would not have gotten with a single image of me in the middle um, so the light on the tripod really helped me out achieve that 
And uh, that's it. You could go do some further editing to this in Lightroom. Um, but I'm just going to leave it right there for this video. So that's going to wrap this tutorial up. And I hope it helps you guys out in the near future. Sorry I haven't been posting videos as regularly. I've been on a lot of road trips recently. I was laid off from my job temporarily because of COVID. So I've just been taking advantage of that free time to go explore and get out you know, shooting as much as possible. So I have a ton of images and video to edit through um, for you know selling on stock agencies. So that's been taking up a lot of my time and um, I haven't really been able to do YouTube videos as often because I have, again, thousands of photos to go through. But I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.